In the United States today, Labor Day marks the start of a pivotal stretch for the U.S. presidential campaign, and polls suggest the race is tight between the vice president, Kamala Harris, and former president, Donald Trump. Steve Futterman joins us now from Los Angeles. Steve, already a busy long weekend for both campaigns. Tell us about what they've been up to. Well, Linda, this starts the traditional, historic, symbolic start of the final stretch to the November election. Basically, two months to go. Labor Day is that symbolic start. And you're seeing the polls now showing still a very close race. But the important thing is the trends right now. And the trends continue to look good for Kamala Harris. Now, trends can change. But right now, the trends are looking good for her. 538, which is a very respected website, it now has Harris up by 3 3.2 percent nationally. But we all know that it comes down to the states, these key states like Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, uh, Nevada. I can almost recite them in my uh, head uh, without even looking at them. Uh, so these are the key states they're looking for right now. But even in these states, Linda, Kamala Harris is trending up. Donald Trump is trending either down or basically he has plateaued. Since Joe Biden dropped out of the race in many of these key states, a Trump lead has turned into a Harris lead. So that's the big concern right now for Trump. That's what the Harris campaign is looking forward to. They think they have the upper hand right now. Of course, a week from tomorrow, the big debate, the September 10th debate in Philadelphia, that could change things a great deal. So we're basically going to wait until September 10th before we really see some key trends in there. If Kamala Harris does well in that debate, it could help her increase her leads. If Donald Trump does well, it could tighten the race even more. And where will the Harris and campaigns be headed over the next few days in the lead up to that debate? Well, today's a key day for the Harris and the Walls campaign. Labor Day is traditionally a big day for Democrats, and they're going to be, uh, Kamala Harris will be with Joe Biden today in Pittsburgh. Now, Pittsburgh is very important because it's a key part of that key state, Pennsylvania. In 2016, the Pittsburgh area went more for Trump. In 2020, it went for Biden. Uh, Trump won the state in 2016. He lost it in 2020. In the Pennsylvania area, Philadelphia is viewed as more blue. Pittsburgh is viewed as more red. So they're going to be in that red area today. Joe Biden will be campaigning with Kamala Harris. Now, a key endorsement that both sides want is the Teamsters. Now, the AFL-CIO, the UAW, the auto workers have endorsed Kamala Harris already. The Teamsters has not made a commitment. Their head spoke yesterday on the news shows during the weekend. Half of our members are Republicans, half of our members are Democrats, so we have to serve uh, all of our membership equally. Um, look, everybody has a different style of leadership. Um, we want the opportunity to sit down with Vice President Harris. I mean, I said to someone the other day, you don't hire someone unless you give them an interview. And, you know, this is our opportunity to ask her about Teamster-specific issues and also labor issues. So um, until we have that meeting, um, you know, obviously we will wait uh, to make that determination. Now, most people feel that in the end, the Teamsters would likely go for Harris, but you never know. The Teamsters uh, is a, a union that has lots of Republican membership as well. So that's going to be a key endorsement. But today, the Democrats are going to try to say they are the party of labor and they want that Teamsters endorsement whenever it comes. Thanks for this, Steve. Thank you, Linda.